Hi, Justin. Milestone 5, a great Gatsby. All right, so you had some issues with your models. Yeah, that happens. Um, I once had you know, my, my original model, and then I had one backup and then a second backup, and all three managed to come up with some kind of excuse at the last minute of why they couldn't help me. So I get it. It happens. Um, unless the model's getting paid, um, a lot of times they can find a, an excuse or maybe something just comes up that they had no control over. But uh, All right, so in the end, you're able to, to use a, I believe you said a, a co-worker. Um, yeah, co-worker. Um, so you're going more towards a, 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 a younger Gatsby, a kind of a coming of age thing. All right, so you know, looking at your images, gorgeous settings, exposures look great. Um, so you've got a mixture of black and white, uh, full color, and looks like maybe sepia as well. So I, I think they work. I think maybe just a, a, a few more different uh, poses because they all seem pretty same. Maybe some different vantage points. Maybe shooting from down low up. To kind of show a feeling of power, maybe shooting from up high, down low, um, maybe uh, in around a house or in a, 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 a more of a, a uh, an urban setting. Um, to kind of show a city life, things like that. So you know, looking at your critique images. So um, like this one, be a little bit careful with the rule of thirds. I think you can get rid of a lot of what's going on over here. The other thing is just be careful when you're converting from color to black and white. Um, make sure you get the contrast, uh, you know, dialed up a little bit. The, right now, very flat, pretty much all gray in terms of tonal range. So if you pop this and open into Photoshop, uh, just come on over and control L for levels. Uh, if, you, if you work on a Mac, it's a command. So I'm going to grab the black channel and kind of slide that over a little bit. I'm going to grab the, the white channel and slide that over a little bit. And then kind of tweak the, the mid-tones, the grays. So here we go from being this, where it's it's kind of uh, a very flat in terms of contrast feel to something. It's got a little more kick, a little more punch. And I think that will really help the overall feel of the, of the image. So hopefully that helps. Uh, let's head on back. And then we have uh, this one here. Yeah, I, I think that works. Maybe even try converting that to sepia tone, kind of give it a more of a, a warm, inviting feel. Or maybe in more lines of the story, you want it to be on the cooler side, make it uh, you know more of a cyanish blue, uh, maybe very foreboding feel. Um, I like the lighting on this one. I think it works nicely. So yeah, definitely think uh, this one is by far my favorite. So all in all, good job. If you have any questions, please don't hesitate in shooting me an email.